Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to talk about the Baofeng UV5R, and this is one of the older uh, units. I probably bought this radio maybe six or seven years ago uh, when they first came out. But you start to notice a lot of people use this radio, have this radio, uh, and you see it starting to see it in a more of the quote-unquote tactical videos that are out there. Uh, so I would just urge people that if they do own this radio to uh, remember that it is primarily a ham radio, meaning it was made, um, you know, for the ham radio market and the frequencies that it uh, is, you know, that you get more bang out of this thing are in the ham radio uh, realm. So I would urge people to get the, or take the test, get the license um, if they if they own this radio because they're going to get a lot more use out of it if they do. Um, at least legal use. Now, a lot of people may say, well, hey, I don't want to go through that process and in an emergency or grid down scenario, it wouldn't matter. And we're, we're headed towards the, you know, apocalypse anyway. And, uh, you know, I just want, you know, because of the obvious troubles where we're headed, I don't care. Um, well, and I will, I will say this is the next uh, best reason why you should is that uh, how else do you legally practice? And that's just the best way to put it is that while um, you can listen on any frequency at any time and you can legally buy any radio, here's, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a true, you know, um, I shouldn't say true because they're both ham radios, but here's a, a, a more expensive, you know, actually $400 GPS, you know, ham radio, um, it, whereas this is, these are, you know, $40 Amazon specials here. Uh, they are still ham radios. And um, they're not really <clears throat> legal for most people to use um, at all, um, unless it's in an emergency or, you know. So I guess that's why people think, you know, well, I'll just get it just in case. And I think that's a good idea. I, I, I urge everyone to buy one anyway, especially at the price, right? $40, buy it anyway. But the main reason isn't just to obey Uncle Sam. I say get it because... Um, I've had my ham radio license and my father had his and, 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 and he had an uncle that had his. So that's kind of how it went in my family to where we, um, I was urged to get into the hobby, uh, from birth. <laughs> but w w what I can say is, is that it's the best opportunity to practice and to gain the skills. Radio is a skill. Okay. It, it's, it's an, it's, it's an actual skill. So if you want to have the opportunity to legally practice the skill, one of the best ways to do that would be um, via, I'm going to turn this off. One of the best ways to practice the skill uh, would be uh, via, you know, a ham radio license and then getting in with the ham radio community and being able to actually legally uh, use it and practice and, and do long distance things. And I'll give you an example is that um, I have um, this, these, both of these radios right now keyed up to a repeater. And I can talk to people pretty much across my state uh, very easily uh, with this using repeaters that are maintained by ham radio operators. Um, matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, well, that was the repeater just calling out to announce itself, if you will. So uh, that's a good example of uh, by using that repeater, which is a ham radio repeater, I can communicate some pretty far distances. Um, you know, reasonably, by using even a small handheld unit to where uh, if you treat it just like a uh, role player walkie talkie, well, yeah, sure, you get some, you know, it's still a five watt unit or an eight watt unit that they're selling now. And you can get some decent range simplex, meaning just radio to radio, not radio to repeater. Um, From the north so, side of There you go. Announce itself again. These are automated, so, um, you know, there's time periods where it's forced to do that. Um, so, you know, the point of it is, is that you get to actually use the unit, practice, and because of that, let's say, for example, um, there are several counties um, across the state that do emergency preparedness check-in. So anybody that's a prepper you know, should really, you know, like that. And, and part of this is, is there, there needs to be more people in ham radio just to kind of keep it going. Um, but you get an opportunity every week, as many times as you want, because different counties do these, to actually test um, using the radio in a net and 
delivering traffic. And by that, traffic, we mean information, which is the whole reason why you have radio in the first place, is to receive information and deliver information, which is, you know, very, very vital. So the main reason why I say to, if you have the bow thing, to uh, get a license, uh, your ham radio license, your uh, at least your technician class license, right off the bat, is because you will have an opportunity to use it, you know, legally uh, with a lot of support and people that will help you um, and help you practice and really help you develop your radio skills uh, because, you know, they, they're basically just a bunch of nerds that love to do that. And, you know, uh, what better uh, to, than to have a community like that? So I can imagine that uh, also, uh, you know, for some people, it may seem like a, a, a commitment or they don't want the government involved or that they don't think that, you know, um, and, and I get it as far as as far as that goes. But you also have to understand that if, if the government didn't exist, we would still have to come up with a way to determine um, proper radio etiquette and how to allocate frequencies and wattages. There's no way around that, meaning uh, most of that comes from the people that I shouldn't say comes from, but, um, you know, if people don't get out and use it, it's kind of hard to preserve these frequencies. Um, a lot of people are getting into GMRS radio and GMRS radio was a response to people wanting something more powerful than CB. You know, people saying, hey, lobbying the government, saying, we, we want some more frequencies to open up to be able to f have family radio without taking a test. So that's another one is GMRS radio. But I will say with the bow things, uh, if you do have one, it's truly a ham radio. You want to get more bang for the buck, get your license. All right, guys, have a good one.